I hope you're going to make your own little thingy thing, little thingy thing. Hello again, welcome back to Pizza Beer PC. Today we're going to be having a look at how you can make your own portable Steam installation and Steam library on one of these babies. This is a Samsung T1 portable SSD. You can use uh, one from Samsung, they've just released a new one, the T3. Uh, there's also ones available from SanDisk and Adata. Basically you need a fast external drive and you could take Steam wherever you want, plug it into whatever computer you want and play your games which are good reasons you might want to do this are if you use a lot of computers like a work computer a laptop your home computer and you don't want to keep pissing around installing the same game like games like gta 5 which you know is like a 65 gig install file and you don't want to be downloading that every time you want to play it on a different computer or some games don't have cloud saving so i ended up i was doing it with night in the woods recently where i was trying to play at work but it didn't carry over my save so i just started a completely new game and i had two new games going parallel and that's pain in the ass so anyway let's go on with it Boom. so for this project you are going to need an external ssd uh flash drive is not going to work very well uh external hard drive is definitely not going to work um, to show you why, I'll, sh I'll show you some benchmarks quickly. So we ran all of my internal drives through uh, Crystal Disk Mark, as well as the T1 external drive. Uh, you can see the T1 here. We get around 440 meg reads and 430 writes. I mean, it's pretty good. It's pretty fast. You can see it in comparison here. I've got the uh, I've got my SanDisk internal C drive. Um, can't remember what SanDisk SSD it is. I think it's like SSD Plus or something. One of the cheapo ones. And uh, the write speeds on the T1 are actually higher. So that's pretty damn good. There's always fluctuations. The 4K writes on the SanDisk are a lot higher. But in practice, I ain't found it to be a problem. And you can see why, because the last one over on the left is my internal hard drive. It's a 7400 RPM uh, Seagate Barracuda. And you can see the, the 4K writes on that, like one megabyte a second. So it's, you know, the 40 the T1 gives you is absolutely plenty to run any game you can imagine. It's uh, it's almost overkill. So the, you're not going to have any trouble with load times. You're not going to have any trouble with frame rates. It's all just going to work. So I think with the T1, I'm not sure if it's the same case with other drives, but T1s and the T3 are the ones I've really got experience with. Uh, sometimes they won't show up in your computer straight away so you have to sign it a drive letter you do that by going to the disk management tool i always do that by typing format on the start menu and um once you found your drive you right click on it you go to change drive letter and paths and you assign it a drive letter and then it should just work after that after you've done that to give it a format make sure it's formatted to ntfs because that's what's going to work for, for windows and uh, hit OK. Now what we're going to do is install Steam direct to the drive so we don't have to move our library or re reassign where the library is every time. It's just going to run direct from the drive, which is the ideal situation. So you need to go to the Steam website and download a fresh copy of Steam if you've already got it. And then run the setup file. Now you run the, the setup file like normal and uh, when you get to a bit, where you choose where to install it, you need to install it on your external drive. Uh, I like to put it in its own folder. I think it needs a folder, in fact. And then, yeah, let let the Steam install run through. Probably going to have to download updates because Steam and there's always a bloody update in there. What I like to do is make a shortcut for the Steam program file and just move that into like the root folder of the drive so you can easily access it. And uh, then, of course, you can just delete the install file after that because you're already installed. Then go ahead, log into your Steam account. Once you're in, go to Steam, Settings, and then when that window opens, go to Downloads. And just make sure that your Steam library folders are configured to the right drive. 
So you want to make sure that all the games you're going to install are going to go straight onto your external SSD and not onto your internal drive. Now, if you're happy to download your games again, or for the first time, if this is how you're doing things, then you just in install the game like normal and it's just going to install onto the external SSD. And then you're going to have a playable copy of that game on your external SSD. The only way this gets a bit more complicated is if you want to move games from your current drive onto the external SSD. But that's not too hard either, and I'll quickly show you how to do that now. To move your current Steam library onto the external SSD, or specific games if you want to, you can do that in the same way in the Steam settings like we did earlier, but make sure that you open your old copy of Steam on your internal drive, not the new one. Usually this is program files x86 slash steam slash steam apps, but I mean for me it's different as you'll see. So go on in, open up that folder. It's always in Steam Apps and Common where your games are found. And it, when you're in Common, you can either copy a specific game across onto the external SSD. The file system will be the same there. It'll be in Steam, Steam Apps and Common. So you can either drag across a specific game that you want, or you can drag across your whole library, which uh, for me would take a long while. So we ain't doing that. So I'm going to copy across uh, Counter-Strike because it's a game that demands quite high performance. Uh, obviously you want your frame rates good if you're going to play a competitive game like that. So we'll have a quick go with that really. Once the files are all copied across, open up the Steam on your external drive. Make sure you exit the your other version of Steam otherwise you might get a bit confused. And you need to go into your Steam library and click install. And don't worry it's not going to download it again. It's going to search for the local files and when it finds them, it's going to attribute them to that install. So you, you'll be good to go. Unfortunately, uh, mine required a little update. <laughs> so <laughs> it's quite a bad example. As you can see, runs like a bloody dream off the external SSD. Uh, frame rate's always above 200, which is pretty fantastic. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any MLG quick scope clips for you, but uh, yeah, I'll watch me get shot by bot because I'm good at this. Now we just uh, test it out on the laptop and make sure it's all working nicely. Looks like we have to assign the drive letter again, which is no surprise with this drive. Like I said, it might be different with other drives. I've only really played with this one. Oh, pay for Windows. Hey, right, thanks, mate. So we'll give Limbo a quick try because uh, nothing else will run on my laptop, really. Uh, Got to do a direct text update. And then there we are, we're into game. And it works. Simple as that. <sighs> well, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it useful. If you like the video, make sure you bookmark us on your little sister's Kindle Fire HD. And if you didn't like it, <coughs> 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 fucker.